Ellen and Cyril Harris have lived in the same flat in Walthamstow, London, for over 150 years. But after 60 years of relative peace, in 2008, the couple developed a taste for shocking violence when new neighbours moved in upstairs. The first day they moved in, I went upstairs. The tenant stood at her front door, and I put my hand on the Bible and said, I'm going to smash your face in. So I got my stick to attack her, went inside, had quite a good time, and it was very amiable. Two days later, a letter arrived from the council accusing Ellen of physical assault. Five policemen turned up, and the two that came in here said to me, you're a witch and I hope you die. I called them a racial comment. But he said, Mrs. Harris, it's 11 o'clock at night. You're 79 years of age, and we are going to put you in a cell. Police found a loaded Luger pistol under her pillow along with other illegal weapons, explosives and ammunition. After being questioned for six hours and having photographs and fingerprints taken, she was cautioned under the Public Order Act for causing fear, provocation or violence and threatening to blow up her neighbour. In Southampton, 54-year-old Laurel Wingfield lives in a communal garden. She's been here since 2006. This it's a garden. Unfortunately for Laurel, not all the residents appreciated the new planting. When I was seeing a friend off late at night, and she started to notice that there was dog feces all over it. It wasn't long before Laurel thought she'd spotted the culprit, Harry Mitchell, the Highland Terrier. The first time I met Harry, um, I saw Harry come from behind the block and I asked him, maybe just mess on the garden? And the response was the most unbelievable flood of abuse. I tried to reason with Harry. I tried to point out, look, I did martial arts. And then I saw his face go red. And, and his eyes started to shine with rage. And he snarled. And I, I had to slam the door in his face. Harry denies all knowledge of this event. Terrified of tackling Harry directly, Laurel started defecating in the shared garden to claim the land. I didn't realise at the time that's what she was actually doing. The neighbours claimed Laurel made the whole area stink. Just somebody saw me do it. <sighs> the police were called. Harry denies all allegations made by Laurel. He was sent to prison with a minimum term of 20 years. Laurel is continuing to poo in the garden and is determined to create another rather unsavoury concoction. Having neighbours is tough, but when 28-year-old photography student Emma Jackson moved in right underneath one, she was not the first to have problems with the man living upstairs, unemployed three-year-old Mark Ray. I was told that the previous tenants antagonised him and that obviously I'm like that, so I thought there would be a problem. So when Emma saw her neighbour outside one day, she decided to tackle it. Politely I said, um, you're a slag, move out the flat, I'm going to get you evicted. And then he ran off and went into his flat. I would be getting up at like two o'clock in the morning, banged on the ceiling, like that. Emma Jackson had moved into a new flat and almost immediately harassed her upstairs neighbour, Mark Ray. This pattern of harassment continued for over six months. I came home one day from a family christening and he was there. The family members who was with me said, you know, have you got any tools? Mr Ray came out, he was like scared, obviously he didn't want to get in any trouble. My dad was like, I'm going to kill you. Mark Ray immediately called 999. He told the police that my dad had punched him in the face. When actually what he'd done was hit him in the face of a rock. Her dad appeared in court for allegedly killing Mr Ray. He was given a £5,000 fine due to a build-up of wax in his ears. We asked Mr Ray's rotting carcass for his comments on events, but have so far received no reply. New tenants should be moving in any day.